À, thưa vị là phụ huynh thì chắc chắn rằng là quý vị cũng có những lo toan à, cho tương lai cũng như là sự học hành của con cái mình à, đặc biệt là đối với à, những à, phụ huynh có con à, đang theo học ở những cái lớp cuối à, của à, thời kỳ trung học và ngày hôm nay thì à, chúng tôi đang có mặt à, tại trường Fountain Valley High School là một trong những cái trường phải nói là trung học rất là nổi tiếng à, ở à, vùng à, Little Sài Gòn à, cùng với Jennifer Phạm à, để tìm hiểu à, xem cái việc mà à, lo lắng cho, cho con em mình ở những cái năm cuối cấp uh, trung học rồi là những cái vấn đề mà kết quả học tập uh, của các em dù xấu dù tốt uh, mình là phụ huynh uh, thì mình phải uh, ứng xử suy nghĩ uh, như thế nào uh, và bây giờ thì xin mời vì uh, cùng với chúng tôi uh, có cuộc trò chuyện uh, giữa Jennifer Phạm và cũng như là Dr. Smith là hiệu trưởng của trường uh, Fountain Valley High School uh, trong ngày hôm nay thì Jennifer muốn uh, tìm hiểu uh, điều gì khi mà gặp uh, hiệu trưởng của trường này So today, um, Jennifer muốn tìm hiểu là phụ huynh có thể là tìm hiểu cho các em là um, về cái chuyện là vô high school như thế nào và ra high school cũng như thế nào nữa. Là Palm Valley High School hôm nay có một ông hiệu trưởng rất là dễ thương cũng là chuẩn bị để answer những những câu hỏi Jennifer có hôm nay về high school. So, kính mời quý vị theo Jennifer để gặp Dr. Smith. Xin mời quý vị cùng với Phạm Khanh và Jennifer vào gặp hiệu trưởng của trường Palm Valley High School. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's very nice to have you here today. Thank you so much. Can you tell me about yourself and your school? Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Morgan Smith, and I'm the principal here at Fountain Valley High School. This is my third year at Fountain Valley High School, and I've enjoyed it every minute. And uh, as a principal, this is actually my eighth year as a principal. Before Fountain Valley High School, I was the principal at Dwyer Middle School for five years. Prior to that, I was an assistant principal at Costa Mesa High School. And then before that, I was a teacher at Continuation School and a uh, comprehensive in the Huntington Beach Union High School District. So this is probably my 15th year in, in education. The time's gone fast, but I've learned many things over the years and that schools differ from one campus in one district to another, that Fountain Valley High School is a premier academic performing arts and athletic school who has probably the strongest school spirit. When you look at different campuses and the cultures on campus, our Barons for Life culture is one of the strongest things that drive many families to attend our school. Fountain Valley High School also um, has many things that students can get involved with. It's a big high school. There's 3,600 students that attend Fountain Valley High School. And each student finds their niche, their pathway, whether it's through clubs, performing arts, um, sports, or academics, you'll find at Fountain Valley High School, every student is able to find their own path. Now that it's the end of the year, it's very important for parents to really reflect on their students' performance during the past year. And the main question I want to ask Dr. Smith is today is that, what advice can you give to the parents to help their children perform their best next year? Absolutely, I get that question a lot. A lot of our parents are most worried about what they've heard, and that becomes the comparison. One of the biggest things I, I could offer parents as far as advice for the next four years of high school would be how they prepare their students for the level of work and rigor they're going to be exposed to. So for all of our classes here, students have a choice between many advanced placement courses. If they're going into those classes expecting that um, an A is going to be something if they spend six hours instead of four hours on a homework project, that extra level of time commitment is going to equal an A. And students stress about those A's and parents stress about those A's. So what I would offer parents is that instead of just focusing on the end result, you know, whether it was an A or a B, that they should focus on the effort and reward the effort. They should praise the effort. When students know that they have their parents' love and respect, uh, no matter how they perform, they're going to be happy and they're going to set their own goals. Instead of trying to live up to just parents' um, hopes and dreams and, and follow their parents' footsteps or what their parents believe is going to be the path for success in the future, students have to set their own goals. If they find that they were coming in with an expectation as a freshman that they were going to do well at Fountain Valley High School and then that they were going to go on and be accepted at a top tier university and then pursue a 
uh, career in the medical profession, but when they get to high school and they struggle in biology or chemistry, they may figure out pretty early on that that is not something that ultimately they want to do in the future. So if they become disappointed in themselves or parents become disappointed in their students, it, co it can be a very difficult four years. I always try to tell parents that praising students for their effort, no matter what the end result is, you're going to have a student that finds their own goals, sets those goals, and will work hard no matter where they're at. Once they go on to college, it's the work ethic. It's that intrinsic value and in, in the goals that they've set and accomplished that mean the most to the student. We always say that success after high school is determined on that passion you have for what you're doing. If you have a passion for the medical industry, then you will do well in the medical industry. If you got A's or B's or even C's in high school, it doesn't so matter as much as the grade as, as, as it matters as much as the work ethic. So if you found your interest in high school and you pursued it in college and you found yourself into a, a career that um, you're going to love and enjoy, you will be successful. But students that fail to meet their parents' expectations or their own expectations will struggle in high school. And we're not just talking academically, we're talking social, emotionally, and, and a big thing nowadays is, is the balance between students' academic success and their mental and emotional health. And they put so much pressure on those A's versus on what the student is going to be most passionate about in the future. And if the emphasis is, well, you worked hard and I'm proud of you, continue to work hard and you will find eventually the success in that area that you are passionate about, then students will be able to make it through that high school experience with a great grasp of reality, a sense of balance between what they enjoy and what they're passionate about, and they will work hard to be successful in those areas that they are passionate about. Well said by Dr. Smith, through his many years experience in education, we can see that positive reinforcement is very important in parents, making sure that we're always praising the children that no matter what they do, it's always their best, reminding them that whatever happens is their best and that we're proud of them. Um, important thing is about health as well that you mentioned that mental health, physical health, everything is also a factor in, in education. In order to do well, you have to remember do, am I passionate about it? Because we'll be doing our, what we're passionate for the next 50 years. Do you want to pursue that for the next 50 years? And it has to be something you really like. So thank you so much, Dr. Smith. And that's a very good point for, um, for the parents to take note of um, to help their children um, to be successful in the next few years.